How's it going guys? Welcome back to Just Wayne. Here with a little bit of a review uh, sort of video today. Taking a look, you've probably seen it from the thumbnail already, but taking a look at this uh, pneumatic compressor. Uh, this is not genuine Lego. This was purchased from AliExpress. But anyway, um, we're going to see how it functions and what it's like working on a real Lego Technic pneumatic model. So let's get into it, let's go. Right, so here we go then, let's take a look at it. So I purchased it from AliExpress, as already stated, and it cost me 73 pounds and 60 pence. That was including delivery, and I didn't get any, um, you know, taxes or anything like that, import duty or anything. So £73.60, well done. First and foremost, the quality um, of the products, given that they're not actually, um, you know, the Lego brand, found them to be really, really good. Went together really nice, holds together perfectly fine, um, no issues. The only slight criticism would be these pieces here, um, it was one of them, not both. I really struggled to get that into them. They, they were, you know, it's slightly tight in the opening, but otherwise, no, um, no big, no big deal. Everything else went together perfectly fine. Taking a look at the uh, pneumatic um, cylinders, um, they are branded Mold King. Um, I know Mold King do some really good sets. Um, I've not personally had any, but they look really good and I think they have quite good reviews. But anyway, so the uh, the actual unit is um, 469 pieces in total. It comes with everything. So you get all the pipe work, you get the, um, the battery unit, the motor, the switch, the four um, pneumatic uh, cylinders that do the um, pump in, the pressure in. Um, and then one more pneumatic cylinder in there which works for the auto shut off switch. You've got the auto shut, shut off switch there and the pressure gauge to uh, two tanks as well. Powered by eight AA batteries as usual in here. And we can turn that on as you can see. And then that will work all four of these simultaneously and when I was building it I did notice that they're all set the way it's built they're all set at slightly different stages so uh, they are always continually as that one's on its um, way back up um, so it wouldn't be putting pressure in this one is going down putting pressure in and whilst that's going down as well that's just gone down and that's already reached the top ready to go back down so um i'm sure there's a name for it i don't know it but yeah so if we turn on the power at the minute it's got the air coming out of out of here as you can see if i can uh, if i crimp the end it starts to build pressure if we switch into the center position that's now filling up the tanks and once the tanks are full in theory it will shut off you can adjust the regulate the pressure to an extent with this i struggled a little bit so i've got one there we go it shut off and that's at um approximately uh two bar that is cut out at if you can take a closer look there um, so that's the auto shut off is working. I say you can regulate the pressure uh, by adding a more bands onto it there which would increase the pressure but I find that puts too much strain on the motor and if you reduce the pressure slightly it doesn't then then although the pressure would be reduced it doesn't have the band strength to pull back the pneumatic um, uh, you know pneumatic cylinder in there for pulling back the switch so therefore it, it doesn't um, then um, automatically come back on so in theory now if we release the pressure the pressure's gone down and that now kicks back in the pump so very straightforward in terms of the build itself I'm going to say it took me approximately one hour to put together. 
uh, the instructions for it came on a PDF which they didn't send to me but it is open source I managed to find the PDF online so I um, downloaded that and then I had to print it all out um, and it was about 170 pages so a little bit of waste of paper if I'm honest um, well, I didn't have a laptop or anything like that and I wanted to build it um, on my desk here so we could um, we could see part of the build process I didn't record the whole process we'll get back to that we'll get to the build process in a moment um, the reason I stopped recording and didn't do the whole process so it was a relatively straightforward build um, framework everything goes together easily um, you know building the the main sort of combustion um, compartment easy this second is sort of modular so you've got the middle section there that was one section you've got this section here and then you've got this section here building them all nice easy and straightforward doing the pipe work and um, working from the schematic was a little bit more challenging because I'm not really clued up on how things like this really work to be honest with you so followed the pictures there was a couple of good pictures which enabled me to sort of get all this pipe work in here apart from that one and all this pipe work in up to this point excluding that point there because then I didn't really know where that one went I didn't know where that one went and I didn't know how to pipe up in here I did figure it all out I realized that that just links through to here enabling all four to then come um, have two outputs one output being there one output being there which then obviously logically they go off to the tank but you also within that have one pressure pipe that comes off which goes um, onto the uh, pneumatic cylinder here which enables the auto cut off and then once it's gone to the cylinder it then comes out of the cylinder goes into the switch but coming off of the same line it goes to the pressure chamber as well so that obviously gives us our reading you've got open end on the switch here um, so if I was to switch it to there that just lets the air out of that one just to release pressure it doesn't do anything and to build pressure we can build that in the middle and if we switch it to the left as I said that will bring us out here let's have a quick look at a time lapse of me putting it the beginning bit together as I say it's not a great deal of footage but it will give us something so let's roll that now <laughs> Right, so now we've had a quick look at that, as I say, it wasn't too much uh, footage. I, um, I stopped recording at a point I thought one of the pieces was missing. I thought that this component here was missing, it wasn't missing, it was just me being silly. And then I never picked up the recording because as I sort of progressed and then didn't really take me long, then I got into the pipe work and it was just a bit fiddly and from a time lapse video, doesn't really show all that much in great detail. but. Here, hopefully, if anyone is building one of these or buys one of these kits, um, you've got enough information off of what I've just explained, mainly for running the pipe work, because the actual instructions themselves show the assembly quite quite clearly, quite well. I was actually really, really su presently surprised. So, anyway, what we'll do is we'll connect this, as it's still on, it's up to pressure, we'll connect this um, to my LEGO Technic um, model, this tow truck here, model number 42128. So, uh, this is a fantastic, uh, fantastic bit of kit. Um, really, really like this model. It just does so much. This is a quick, quick look at it. So, you've, you've got the, the, the back sort of um, tail lift here this arm can go up and down turn manually and um, you can lift and raise the wheels here you can do the um, side arms as well um, from one of them there and then you can twist uh, this piece here so that's the sort of the manual stuff for the cogs so part of the standard kit it comes with the pneumatic pump which was um, mounted here. I removed that yesterday. Um, and what I did is extended the pipeline and added in this little T 
valve piece here which enables me to hook this pipe onto it there like so I understand that my myself and the, my children we, we both play with this model so it's not obviously mobile having this you know to carry around with it given that it's sort of the length of the back of the truck but I didn't do it for that I modded it for the simple reason as I wanted to see what this was capable of I probably will put the manual pump back on it at some point or maybe look to see if there's a way of adding an additional valve in so that we can have the pump in and then switch between pump and have it still have the output or the input should I say for the compressor but anyway we're rambling on let's take a look so compressors on as you know and it's got nearly two bar of pressure this model I do find sometimes the uh, pneumatics on it are a bit sticky and also particularly this back tail uh, lift here they are um, just put that onto the right set and there that's going to build pressure uh, it's, it's very slow whether you're doing it with the compressor or whether you do it with the manual pump I think it's just the angle of it it just puts a lot of pressure on it we just let this fill back up to pressure there we go that's built that's done so if we now flick this switch that lowers that down nicely there and you'll see what I mean on the up position it goes a little bit slow but as it sort of reaches that point it does shimmy up quite nice these ones on the other hand are a little bit different so that's let's just release the tension off of the ropes because otherwise that will prevent it or add additional strain onto there and then we can lift it up like so and then take that down take it up down well down up and now we can hear we've taken a bit of air out of the tanks the compressors just automatically kicked in but still there's enough air to enable doing both movements at the same time try it with all three so we're going to go down and up put that one back down and now we're going to go all up at the same time see they worked fine that one as i said going very very slow and it's going it's going it's gone right quick cup of tea beautiful so that's it in action you can see real time obviously with this speed once it's up pressure they really work quite well the only one that goes slow as I know I've said several times already is that one and it must be to do with the angle of the cylinder or maybe there's a kink in a hose which I don't believe there is so let's just let that build pressure I've put it into the central position remove the hose from the truck as you can see that there well you can't really see but they're just falling down because there's no air left in the system quiet so it is a bit loud but that doesn't phase me in the slightest it does have the rubber grommet, grommets here which is what the sort of pump assembly is mounted to allowing a little bit of movement um, so that it takes out some of the vibration but I do find it to be a little bit loud but it really doesn't concern me but so that's that's basically this um, it's you know somebody's design I'm not sure whose design it was otherwise I would credit them um, you know just just search up pneumatic compressor on the old google machine and you will see um it, it comes up um i say it's a fantastic bit of kit um just adds to the fun for me from my perspective um i love industrial stuff um i've just ordered a lego um a lego set which is actually the injection molding machine um from Le the lego ideas range i'm waiting for that to come it's come, coming from denmark i believe um I love industrial sort of things um, so this just on the shelf uh, for, for, for me will just look really really cool I like it and um, when I put it on the shelf I did sort of mount it um, basically just 
just sort of sat on the back of here with the with the ropes holding it up so the compressor was sort of hanging on the back of the truck and the big old truck supports it perfectly fine but that's it guys so i'll leave it at that if you got this far into the video thank you ever so much for watching i hope i haven't bored you i hope it's been semi sort of informative um you know it's sort of explained a little bit about what it does etc but if you liked it please consider leaving a like if you like this sort of content there's so many more builds that i'm going to do we've got loads of harry potter stuff loads of lego technic stuff it's just endless i've got 92 sets that are still that are here at home with me that are not built um so we will be building them but yeah um please please subscribe if you would like to see more um but anyway that's it for me for now. I shall see you on the next one. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.